And Mercury wins this round. All right. Another, another round. Come on, Venus, we can call it off now, or... What are you, a space chicken? Oh, now you've done it. Shuffle the cards. Ha! Oh, I hope we're not missing anything important. Hey, mate, nice sunglasses. Drawn a new look? Actually, I'm preparing for the brightness variation that will be caused by the awakening of a black hole. They saw it on the news. <sighs> I wouldn't be so sure. A lot of biased news going around the galactic web, mate. Well, that's why I love to use Ground News. It's an app and website that gives you the tools necessary to help you think critically about the news you are reading. It compiles articles from over 50,000 sources from around the world so you can see where the bias leans, the reliability, ownership, and compare how different outlets cover the same story. Let me take a look. Wow, you all right. Here's the article about the black hole waking up, and it's one million times the mass of our sun? Wouldn't want to make that black hole angry. <laughs> Let's navigate this. So more than 75 sources are covering this story. And here I can visually see where the bias leans on the bias distribution chart. If I scroll down here, I can see every article that's been written on this story and Wait, I can even compare headlines side by side to get the full picture of the story. I told you it was neat. What about news not covered by either side? Well, that's why we have the blind spot feature. To see news with little to no reporting on either side. Like this one. Or this one. I'm impressed, mate. Kinda takes away all the misinformation there is in the field of space exploration and is just practical because you have all the info in one place. Indeed! So get Ground News by using our link in the description or scan the QR code to give Ground News a try yourself. If you sign up with our link, you can get the Vantage plan for 40% off, which is what I use to get unlimited access to cool features like the blind spot feed. That's awesome! Thank you, Ground News, for the awesome work bringing transparency to the media and... You know, by supporting Ground News, you also support us. Anyways, back to the video! Reports from all around the world detail that people are currently panicking due to the unexplainable events happening right now. Heavy panic ensued across the globe after the suggestion that the moon is headed towards Earth, courtesy of the man that saved Earth more than once, the General of Rotsar. Don't let go of mommy now, okay, Junior? Are you okay, son? We can't ever get a break now, can we? It's okay. I did my part. I told the world that the moon's about to hit our planet. It's it's now up to them. That's probably just my mail. It, just leave it at the doorstep. Uh, Mr. General, the United Nations are asking for your presence. You need to come with us. Uh, uh I think I'm good. Uh, send my regards to the countries. Sir, who we need you? But I already did what you asked! I found out what the problem was! Nobody knew the moon was falling on our heads until I noticed! Well, sir, please, uh, if you don't comply... What? Are you gonna break the door and... <coughs> okay, I'm coming. Whoa, the full moon looks beautiful tonight. Yup, that's because it's heading towards us. Wait, what? Yup, mystery solved. Thank you, everyone. Time to leave the planet. See ya! Did he really say the moon's gonna hit the planet? Oh, what, what are, are we, we gonna, gonna do? do? Oh, are we all gonna die? Oh, guys, calm down. Calm? We're about to die! Again! Well, where's your bull facer now, America? He was supposed to save all of us. Well, I sent a team to pick him up, but I, I don't know if they'll succeed. Oh, they can't help us. No one can. What? Uh, what's happening? Uh, wait! Where were you? We were looking all over for you. What's the plan, Mr. General? Surely you have something. You're 100% sure this moon's coming towards us. Okay, calm down, everybody. Give the man space to breathe. Uh, hello, everybody. Mr. General, you're back. Against my will. So, what's the big plan to save the world? Oh, uh, about that. Yeah, I needed some time to think about the situation. You know, just take a minute and... And... Yeah. That. So, this means you have a plan. Uh, yeah! But I want to hear everybody's plan first before I let everybody hear mine! A democracy, right? Oh, he's such a good man. Are we sure we have time to discuss plans when the whole world's in danger? It's fine. We have plenty of time. Two more people left and we're off to the bunker. Officer, take me and my son. All right, I can do... 
Oh, I forgot to cut myself. Sorry, only one seat left. Okay, time to split up for now. They should take you to the bunker where it's safe, all right? Ma'am, we have to go now. Just follow this officer's instructions and I'll, I'll see you later. Take care of him, okay? Absolutely, strange woman. I'll come back and find you, baby. I love you. Okay, who wants to present their plan first? Oh, me, me! Oh, oh, can I? Can I? Yep. Go for it, Russia. Well, thanks. So my plan is to destroy the room, bomb it, fire a laser at it, deploy spaceships to cut it off. It doesn't matter. Destroy the moon! I... I like the energy, but... Oh, you don't like my plan? Russia, your plan sucks. If the moon's the problem, then get rid of it. Simple as that. Well, even if the moon's the problem, we still need it. The Earth and the moon pull on each other's gravity so we don't drift. Oh, and if we blow it up, we'll have to deal with the meteorite shower from the debris, so... Yep. Yeah, good point. How about a more peaceful approach? Anybody? Oh, I have one. How about we take all the windmills of the world and face it towards the moon? No destroying involved. Plus, the moon gets a gentle breeze to push it back to where it came from. Okay, that's not bad. Except that there's no air in space, so I don't know how that would work. Well, come on, Canada. Yeah, come on. Anybody got a more feasible approach? Okay, what if we put all of humanity in one place and make them all jump at the same time? What would that accomplish? Well, uh, the planet would move away with all that force, right? It's a cool idea, but everyone jumping at the same time would barely do anything. Perhaps we could cause some vibration, but it's nothing compared to all the geological and environmental forces constantly at play. Then how about something from space, then? It's clear that we can't do much from Earth, but maybe you have something up your sleeve that could work. Hmm, space-related, huh? Space, astronomy, gravity... Gravity! I think I might just have a plan. Excuse me, let me through. Is this boat heading to the bunkers? Bunkers? Ha! <laughs> nope. We're heading to the other side of the world. We have a better chance of avoiding the destruction if we're not facing the place of impact. Wait, no! Listen to me. No matter where you are in the world, you don't want to be on the surface. We need to go deep underground. Lady, if you don't want to go with us... You won't make it! We don't have much time left, okay? Everyone's chances of survival are nearly zero, but you don't want to be sailing in the sea when the impact happens. It will be bad. Very bad. Oh, fine. You guys really don't want to take a break? It's our 500th game now. Aren't you all getting tired? No. As long as I haven't beaten Mercury, I'm not gonna stop. That's never gonna happen. <laughs> Then we will never stop playing! Another round! Oh, boy. Luna, please wake up. We're getting really close now. Earth, do something! <sighs> Welp, nobody's hearing me out. I guess it's time to brace for impact. So, do we finally get to hear your totally ready, 100% guaranteed plan to save the world? Well, I do have a plan A and a plan B. Okay, give it to us. Well, plan A is... We nuke the moon. Oh, Russia's plan one. <laughs> Deal with it, America. <laughs> no, this... Guys, even all of our nukes wouldn't destroy it. But if we build a gigantic solar sail and place it at the other side of the moon and then blow all of our nuclear bombs, then the sail might push the moon away from the Earth. Oh, well, how big would this sail need to be? So... Like, more than 3,000 kilometers. Ooh, 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 that's a mile, goodness. I don't even know what a kilometer is. I know it's far-fetched and time's not in our favor, so if this doesn't work, we do plan B. And what's plan B? Uh, all of your plans? Oh, yeah, yeah oh, that's, that's it. Very good. <laughs> I like this man. All right, my job here is to... Wait, no... Guys, I did my part! I did my part! We 
hope you enjoyed this video. Special thanks to Ground News for sponsoring us. Our link in the description today and get 40% off the Vantage plan to get all the amazing features Ground News can offer. Thanks!